Hi, it's Sarah with House Copper, and today we are going to do something I've been asked to do a few times, and I'm sorry it's taken me this long to do, but we're going to sh do a very quick and easy tutorial on how to tighten rivets on a copper pot. Now, I am working with tin line copper. If you have a stainless or aluminum plated lined copper pot, you will also be able to do this method, but there's very likely going to be some dirtying or um, uh, pitting or, or just general kind of wreckage. I'm trying to come up with the rest, the best word, um, to the interior of your pot when you do this. And for me as a retinner then, I will be able to go over those spots with the tin and they're gone. But if you're doing this with a stainless lined or aluminum lined pot, you won't be able to um, erase any dents or dirtying of this, the interior part of your pot. So you really wanna make sure that you're doing this on a clean surface if you're gonna be doing this on something other than a tin lined copper cookware piece. You also wanna find a piece of equipment to go on the interior of your pot um, that is really close to the interior diameter of your pot. PVC pipe, really ratcheted down, works fine. Um, I have what's called a hollow mandrel, which is a tinsmith's specific type of um, stake, for lack of a better word. And I'm gonna be using that for this piece. And um, a few things to note, you will never be hammering directly on the rivets themselves. You will never be hammering directly on the rivets to the inside unless you're trying to kind of reconfigure them. Um, so the biggest tool that you're going to have to create or find is a piece of hardwood or piece of metal that you can machine out um, a piece of. <laughs> so something that can go over the top of the rivet on the exterior of the handle. And that is what you're gonna use to hammer your pot uh, and, and your handle and tighten them. And what you're essentially doing is you're kind of smashing the, the soft copper and the crystal structure of the copper a little bit more so it fills any gaps in between the holes of the handle and the, and the body itself or even between the handle uh, or even the, the spaces in between those things. And you're filling that with more material to tighten the rivet, um, which is a very normal thing. You, handles, get, um, hand, handles get loose very often, it happens, but there is a way to tighten them without completely redoing it and replacing the rivets, which is kind of like a gear last resort. So without further ado, here is a very easy tutorial on how to tighten the rivets on a copper pot handle. All right, here's your pot, there's your rivets. Here's your hollow mandrel, your pipe, whatever you can have that is going to create a sturdy place for you to back your rivets up. So you wanna make sure that it's going to lay flat on your, your interior rivet heads. Then you're gonna take this piece and you're going to place it over each rivet. I'm gonna bring you closer so you can see what I mean. Here's your rivet. This goes over the top. And I have it really deep because some rivets are really big and um, and have a, a big rounded bottom to it. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this so that it covers the rivet. And then all you're gonna do is tap. And then you might have to even like move it so that again, your your interior rivet head is directly on top of the surface, you don't want it to be crooked. And you're gonna put it there, and you're gonna hit again. And then you'll do it to the third rivet. And then you should notice a substantial difference in the um, security of the handle 
to the body. So that's it. That's it. That's how you tighten a rivet. And you might have to do that process like four times and go back and forth and kind of play around with it. But really, um, doing each rivet, a couple of, you know, hitting that hammer on your tool, on your, on your jig, a um, couple of times each rivet is truly all you really need unless your handle is really off kilter in terms of the radius of your pot. So again, your, your tool is your mandrel or your PVC pipe, um, a hammer, and some sort of jig that you can put over the exterior part of the rivet on the handle. And again, if you don't have metal or a weighted machine, a hardwood works fine. Um, it's just not gonna hold up as long and it probably will take you um, a lot more back and forth across the rivets to see a difference in terms of security of your handle. Um, so that's it, it's super basic, it's really easy, it's kind of just more preparation and getting the right pieces to do it than actually doing the tightening. So what you never wanna do is hammer directly on the handle or the rivet itself because you will create stress on the handle, you're gonna crack something, especially on older pieces, or you're going to smash the rivet flat, which is also what you really don't wanna do if you're preserving the piece as is. So there you go. If you have any comments, questions, ways you have done it, I really wanna hear it. Everybody else wants to see it. Give your feedback. This is a place of caring, sharing, and learning. Um, I know nothing. I am not a like, be all end all expert. I have many decades ahead of me to keep learning. So um, I always look forward to seeing what everybody says. Please hit subscribe, please share, um, find me on Twitter, well, not Twitter, Instagram and, and Facebook more so under House Copper and Cookware. Um, visit housecopper.com if you wanna see more and uh, pick up copper, iron, and clay wherever books are sold. So there you go, until next time, thank you for watching.